Lines his switch since the scale is in such contest, taking on the switch would, would dramatically reduce the number of points that Red was able to accumulate. Blue plays a boost, doubling the points on the scale and switch for 10 seconds, and now Red plays a force, forcing the scale and switch on their favor for 10 seconds, hoping to negate, negate the time that Blue has held it in their favor. And with 60 seconds left, we have a 30-point advantage for the Blue Alliance. 1018 able to put another cube up on the switch. 868 dropping a cube. Possibly a critical failure in this match. 1529 getting a cube stuck inside of the elevator, not able to pull it all the way down, having to spin around and try and throw it free. 171 still trying to work the opponent's switch. And we have a boost played by the Red Alliance, doubling the points of the, their switch and scale next 10 seconds. We still have a close match within 30 points. 447 is going to try and go for a climb. You have 15 seconds left in this match. 447 going up, 1018 looking for the park along with their partners, 2171. 868 also looking for a climb. We have three seconds left. And they're pulling and they're trying to make it right as it ends, Blue Alliance. Two robots on the platform, Red Alliance one. And with the competition heating up, we're going to throw up the scores under the scoreboard. And the winners of the last match, the Blue Alliance! The Blue Alliance scoring 369 to the Red Alliance 325. Pike Robo Devils maintaining their number one seed placement and dropping 868 down to fifth. Blue Alliance composed of 1018, 1529, 2171, and scored a whopping 279 ownership points that match. Red Alliance composed of 34, 94, 868, and 447. Total of four ranking points given out in the match. Three for Blue Alliance, one for Red. Congratulations.